one of the Clone Wars, Henry Gore and I had bandied about a couple different ideas of things we thought would be neat, and that was back during, you know, the uh, the Uber fan days, we call it, you know, when we were quoting the movies left and right and uh, having rancors run all around, and, uh, you know, um, among the ideas as fans that we thought would be cool is, oh, we have to have carbon freezing in uh, the show. That would be cool. <laughs> well, when we had the season three story meeting and we were working with George on coming up with how are these guys going to get through the Citadel, you know, I remembered that Henry and I had talked about this thing a long time ago. <laughs> and I was like, well, what if they froze themselves and, and used carbon freezing to get through? I don't think this is working. Droids, of course, non-organics could get past these scanners, but any living thing the scanner would detect, unless you're able to freeze yourself and your heart rate and your bio signs down, so the droids wouldn't realize they were living things on board the ship. The shuttle has no life forms, Commander. Matt Mikovitz, who was writing the Citadel, you know, huge fan, was like, yes, that would be awesome. <laughs> so, and George went for it. I mean. Again, like, you have to have a reason to want to do these things, too, and a good reason to do it. And it was a good reason, as it turned out, and it fit really well with the Citadel, so we put the idea of carbon freezing in there. Now, we get to another dilemma, which is, so, a lot of fans somehow, for some reason, hold the concept that when Han gets frozen in carbonite, that this is somehow the first time this is done. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that comes from because Vader somehow knows the facility is a crew on Cloud City, but it should be, you know, able to freeze Skywalker. Reset the chamber for Skywalker. So somehow he knows this process is going to work, almost like he's done it before. So that was enough really loose logic <laughs> to run on that it would probably be the Anakin's idea. This is your idea. Carbon freezing? Hey, you wanted to shield us from the life form scanners. A funny thing, you can't have evidently a carbon freezing chamber without having an Ugnaught run it. So I'm imagining somehow that the Ugnaughts must be very good at carbon freezing. They know a lot about it. Because we've got an Ugnaught, Urxalis, running the machine. You know, and I don't, you know, I guess. Maybe when you open the big box to install your own carbon freezing chamber, the Ugnaught's there. Maybe he delivers it. Um, maybe he's in the box. I don't know. But, uh, you know, it was a neat little nod back to Empire Strikes Back to have an Ugnaught there. Um, best carbon freezers in the galaxy.